हेलो फैशन लवर्स एंड वेलकम टू फैशन डांस स्टील स्टार मोडा प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो शेयर द वीडियो सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड लीव योर कमेंट्स इन द कमेंट बॉक्स इन टू डेज वीडियो विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट द शोल्डर स्ट्रैप कुर्ती सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द प्रोसेस तो टूडे वी आर लर्निंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ ड्राफ्टिंग ऑफ शोल्डर स्ट्रैप कुर्ती शोल्डर स्ट्रैप कुर्ती दैट मीन्स द कुर्ती दैट्स हैविंग द स्ट्रैप्स ऑन द शोल्डर that shoulder strap uh, this this may be the same process to uh, draft the uh, spaghetti uh, strap kurti or shoulder strap kurti this is all about the width of the straps so measurements that we require in this uh, drafting are kurti length that you know is 25 inches and all round bust the standard all round bust for 18 years that we will take is 36 inches and the waist length waist length that is required is 15 inches here will be using stencils either you may use the basic bodice block stencil of 18 years or you may use the basic kurti stencil or you can do simply one thing that uh, Uh, you can draft the kurti as we have done in previous to previous video so these two stencil will be using so let's start with the front drafting process for front first we'll take a line ab on fold where a to b is equal to 25 inches ab is equal to 25 inches that means the kurti length now we'll square out a imaginary line from point a that is perpendicular to a and we will trace the front kurti or front bodice block keeping its shoulder uh, the point at the imaginary line and fold line on the center front we'll just draft it if you don't have that stencil you can draw the you can draft the kurti itself right this we'll mark a point c where ac is equal to 3 inches 3 inches will be the strap length at the front and we'll square out a imaginary line from here also this now we'll mark a point d where ad is equal to 15 inches that means equal to the waist length <coughs> here will be again do a imaginary line right on this imaginary line will mark a point d dash where d to d dash is equal to 3 and a half inches why 3 and a half inches that is the dart position that is 1 by 12 of all round bust plus half inch this is the waist dart position and we'll draw an imaginary line from point d d dash from the d dash here we'll mark on the both shoulder tips e e dash and we'll take the midpoint of it that is f so f is the midpoint of e e dash that means we'll divide the shoulder slope in two pieces and we'll place the scale as it should touch to the that imaginary line that we have drawn from d dash at point g as fg is equal to 9 and a half inches fg is equal to 9 and a half inches by 1/4 of the all round bust plus half inch this is for the shoulder dart position where it will cut to the lines imaginary line c will mark point h and from point h will take both side h h dash it may be 1/4 inches half inches 3/4 inch 1 inch 1 and a half inch it depends on the width of the strap that you are requiring here i am taking 1 inch on the both side h h dash and h h double dash is 1 inch now we will 
join these lines but before that we will decrease the neck depth by 1 inch here i am pointing the point um, point i and i dash i i dash is 1 inch or it depends upon you you may keep it same or you may even keep it deeper in the same way at the armhole point will decrease the depth of armhole also by 1 inch i i dash is 1 inch and then we will give shape to the armhole and side seam till the end so this is the kurti now we'll drop the strap for strap you have to drop down a perpendicular on the point h and h dash from the shoulder it should be perpendicular to the shoulder that uh, this will keep it on the place and generally i have seen or you must have seen the strap is falling down from the shoulder so it will not fall down from the shoulder if you will if you will draft it like this this is on fold and this is the grain line front one cut and upper portion is strap that will be cut separately and that will be using it at the end now we'll see the back the back process is about similar that we have done in the front but just to make it sure you will do it right i'll just draft it for you same 25 inches i have taken aa dash and we have to trace the back bodies block or the back kurti block right this i'm only taking the upper portion but we have to draft the entire we have marked point a and c ac is equal to 2 and 1/2 inches for back or it depends upon you but in standard it is 2 and 1/2 inches because the entire length of the strap is 5 and 1/2 inches again imaginary line d again is 15 inches that is the waist length and imaginary line from d to the side seam we'll draw d to d dash on this imaginary line 3 and 1/2 inches same reason same process 3 and 1/2 inches that means 1 by 12 of the all round bust sorry plus 1/2 inch again we'll mark e e dash center of e e dash is f place the scale on f and the imaginary line from dd dash as it should be it should be interse intersect at 9 and 1/2 inches that means f f sorry yeah, fg is equal to 9 and 1/2 inches that means 1/4 of the bus plus 1/2 inch where it will intersect at the imaginary line c will mark c h h dash as h to h dash and h to h double dash again for me it is 1 inches or what you have taken in the front now we will increase the depth of the neck by half inches and give the shape from c to c dash and again same process as we have done decrease the 1 inch from the armhole and this now again drop the perpendicular on point h and h dash now you cut these two pieces of strap front strap and the back strap and you need to keep it like front strap will be kept upward as it is and the back strap will be kept as it should be on shoulder to shoulder the shoulder portion should need to the shoulder it will be little bit in the curve and then we will smooth it from the sides from here and from here we will smooth it this is the this is the strap that we have to try attach to the kurti so this is all about the shoulder strap kurti this is the this is on fold the grain line back we require one piece two piece of strap so thank you for watching friends 
and we'll meet in the next video till then bye bye